Both men now getting into the ring. Bartellamy in the ring now, 15-0-1, seven of his 15 wins by knockout. Eduardo Ramirez comes in at 22-2-3. Rematch of a draw some time ago. Let's go to the ring, and Jimmy Lennon Jr. Ladies and gentlemen, a very good evening to you, and we welcome you to the MGM Grand here in Las Vegas, Nevada, as Premier Boxing Champions presents a big night of action. It's Fox Sports PBC pay-per-view, and it's brought to you by Tecate, the official beer of boxing, Twin Peaks restaurants, eats, drinks, scenic views, and recover 180. Rapid hydration for when it counts. And we extend a very special welcome to the brave men and women joining us around the world and serving around the world, joining us tonight on AFN, the American Forces Network. Well, fans, this bout of the ring is presented in association with Samson Boxing, introducing our three judges, scoring from ringside, Max DeLuca, Chris Flores, and Steve Weisfeld. All right, fans, here we go. 10 rounds of boxing in a rematch in a featherweight special attraction. Introducing to you first, on my right, fighting out of the red corner, wearing green, white, and red trunks, and hailing from Los Mochis, Sinaloa, Mexico. He weighed in at 126 and one half pounds with a record of 22 wins, two losses and three draws. He has nine wins coming by way of knockout. Introducing Eduardo Surdito Ramirez. And his opponent across the ring fighting out of the blue corner, wearing white trunks with gold trim, fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada by way of Havana, Cuba. He weighed in at 128 pounds, undefeated in his campaign to the ring with a record of 15 wins, no losses, one draw and seven wins coming by way of knockout. Please welcome the undefeated world rank contender known as El Problema, introducing Ledwan Bartelemy. Introducing our third man to the ring now to give instructions, Russell Mora. Gentlemen, we went over the rules in the dressing room. I want to remind you to protect yourself at all times. Obey my commands. God bless you both. Touch up. Underway here in Las Vegas. This is a rematch of a draw in September 2017. Here are the unified rules. They'll be in effect all night. No free knockdown rule. No standing eight. You cannot be saved by the bell. The referee or the doctor can stop the fight. And if an accidental foul occurs, stops the fight, they will go to the cards after four rounds. So there's Lidouan Bartolome, 15-0-1, and that one, that one draw coming toward Eduardo Ramirez against September of 2017 as they get right at it here in Las Vegas. Yeah, Ramirez jumped right out and landed a, a left hand right over the top. Ramirez went from that draw to a featherweight title shot with Lee Selby in UK, lost that fight. So he has fought a high level of competition, but he knows this is another big opportunity for him and his career tonight. Bartolome, of course, one of the fighting Bartolome brothers, younger brother of Rancis, two-time champ, and Jan Bartolome, 2004 Olympic gold medalist. All now live in Vegas. They're still very close. They've all made it out of Cuba and having successful professional careers. Hold on the top of the head. Warning coming from Russell Mora. But we had an action-packed undercard to the undercard, fellas. Lennox, we saw Deontay Wilder's younger brother get starched with one shot in a fight he was leading easily. Yeah, I mean, th this is where this is where when you're in the ring, you got to keep your defense up, and you always have to be aware of uh, the other guy's punches. Focus is all is the key all the time. Never take your focus off of the other guy. Yeah, it was going so easily. He, he basically was too relaxed in the ring with uh, with Long in front of him. And then Long switched up on him and threw a great little twisty left hand from a southpaw stance and just caught him flush. There's Marcellus Wilder against Deontay's younger brother, who's now dropped to 5-2. and two, But we mentioned uh, sometimes brothers watching each other on the card. It can be uh, a more than slightly upsetting, right, Joe? Yeah, yeah. I've been in that situation. I had two world champions that were brothers, just like uh, the Charlo brothers and the... And, and the Wilder brothers, and uh, 
you know, when both of them don't win, uh, the other one doesn't, you know, it's, it's, it's kind of devastating emotionally for the one sitting in the locker room watching your brother lose. So, yeah, let's hope that Deontay can just shake that off. Round one scheduled for 10 here. Tell me, get it long and lean. Ranging southpaw, two southpaws. Nice combination there by Ramirez, going with the left over the top, came back with the right hook. Yeah, Ramirez is trying to, uh, you know, make an imprint on the judges right now that, you know, he's the guy that's going to make the fight happen. And he's he's pressing the fight against Bartolome. And uh, he's landed uh, not many, but a few good solid punches. So that keeps happening there. Ramirez coming in low and getting caught underneath. Mora with a, another explanation. Nice right hook there by Ramirez. And they get pulled apart just in time. But uh, Ramirez ready to throw, no question. Looking to make the most of this opportunity. They've been in there with each other before. Again, fought to a draw. Trying to make things happen here in round one. Bartolome again escaping out of Cuba. Uh, what he believes was his 22nd attempt. Had been trying to get out of Cuba for years. Three or four times he was detained. Finally got out in 2008. Now he can go back to Cuba after eight years away, but there's Francis and Jan. They all live in Las Vegas and overall, again, had very good careers. But it, it's a lot of heartache. Impressive amateurs, great amateurs, and always looking for a better life and having the uh, opportunity, at the very least, to earn real money. I had one of the great uh, champions out of Cuba, gold medal winner, 94 Olympics, uh, Joel Casamayor. We were together for eight years or so, and believe me, he loved being here. He missed his uh, family back home, but he loved the freedom he had here. So that's what they're looking for. That's what Ortiz was saying today. I live here. Yeah, freedom. Yep. Bartolome saying totally different here in the U.S. Liberty is the most important thing to prosper, to help his family. And certainly he'd like to stay undefeated. He is 30 years old already. Needs to make some hay in his career, but 15-0-1 and has won two straight since that draw with Ramirez. He marries his game. He's trying to get in closer to Bartholomew. Yeah, the only two losses that Ramirez has is against Selby, the champion, who defended his title four times. So, you know, he's a, a very, uh, very, very good fighter. And then he lost to Claudio Marrero, who's a, another southpaw, hard hit Claudio Marrero, and uh, lost to him. So he's, he's only lost to uh, two really top-rated guys. And he had a draw with... Uh, Bartholomew, who's a top-rated fighter, and possibly a, a future champion. And Lennox, I see your point, too. There's a real level of intensity coming from Ramirez trying to get inside. He said he has to get in, do more body work to get a decision here tonight. And you can see he is he is making every effort to get inside and throw hard shots. Yeah, and, and sometimes when you see, you know, when you're up against a tall fighter, but, you know, that's your aim. That's, you know, you want to you test his body out. And, you know, for, for Ramirez, he wants to get into the body and then get to the head. That's what he should be doing. Agreed. And one thing Bartholomew is doing is that when Ramirez does come in, he's really good at tying him up, pushing down on his head, turning him by his, by his elbows. He's very rough on the inside, Bartholomew. So he's not going to make it easy on Ramirez. Bartholomew coming in there and uh, for a brief second went orthodox, fighting right-handed and threw a, a right hand over the top. So Bartholomew starts to put on some more pressure here in round two. Bartholomew's looking at that left upper. He's looking to catch because Ramirez is keeping his hands up real well. He's looking to come up the middle with something, but he's missed it two or three times already. Bartholomew said he was not physically prepared for their first fight back two years ago. He just didn't have a well-coordinated camp. That was the way he put it. You see how he, he puts that forearm on top of Ramirez's head? Bartholomew missed the left hand. And, and Ramirez was underneath him, but he still made him pay for it by pushing down on his head. And that takes strength away from you trying to struggle to get out of that little uh, move that Bartholomew yeah, put on. Yeah, I, I agree. I agree. You know, also, he, he threw a nice combination there that you don't see an awful lot, fellas, and that a hook and then a uh, you know, straight left hand. You should see it the other way around. But he, his hands are quick enough, Bartholomew, he can make that work. Well, you know, that hook is the closest punch 
to the opponent. So it, it, it's, it's not a bad idea to use it as a lead punch because it's the closest one to your opponent. Oh, wow. Hey. I remember it. And here is the heavyweight champion, resplendent in gold. Deontay Wilder coming in to the ring, heavyweight champion of the world. The captain has arrived. He said he had something special for us in his entrance. Now, that's just the entrance to the entrance. I don't know if that's a captain. That's a general. That's a general shoot. Uh, He's a general. That is a, an admiral. You're correct, admiral. Lennox. Okay. Yes. <laughs> Deontay Wilder coming in here, getting ready to rematch with Luis Ortiz. It should be exciting. Wilder able, there he is, as he comes in near the dressing room. You know, he seems to Lennox really enjoy these moments. He was brought along very slowly as a heavyweight. Remember, he was very protected for a long time, took up boxing late. He seems to relish this now, this oh. the, the, the spotlight, everything, the celebrity, all of it. Oh, abs absolutely. He's doing a great job being heavyweight champion of the world, and, you know, he, he, he loves to dress, he loves to be at, at, at the top, and he's doing a fantastic job, great champion. Because you know, I mean, it's real pressure when you're the man, right? Oh, yeah. You, you've got oh, yeah. to soak that in or it can eat you up. Oh, yeah. Right now, he's just focused. You can tell he's walking around, he's, he's, he's uh, thinking about the fight ahead of time, and that's what he's supposed to be doing. They're telling me they're active with the jab coming in, but Ramirez answering right away. Not only that, Ramirez is, looks like he's willing to take the flak coming in right now. He's damned and determined to get on the inside. No ma and Bartholomew's throwing some really nice combinations to, to greet him as he's coming in, as Ramirez comes in. But look at Ramirez. It's not stopping him, and he just gave it right back to him six, seven punches of his own. And Bar Bartholomew is, is doing a good job stepping back and keeping the distance against uh, away from Ramirez. And there is Francis Bartholomew. Coaching his brother. See, they go to the same barber shop. <laughs> Josie, you could get away with that. Lennox did it. You could. I could. The hairdo. Yeah. You could. Come on. You had that in like 1977. Yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Studio 54. Come on. Well, I don't know. I, it, it may be a little much, but I don't know. <laughs> at this point. Round but three I, here. Good. Good firefight here. Ramirez in the white trunks with the. Red and green trim. Bartolome in the white with gold lettering. And so far, just a good matchup. You can rematch of a draw, and it seems fairly even here. Some of the punches landed so far. Bartolome with the advantage in the first two, but Ramirez wide advantage here in the third. Exactly. Ramirez is really coming on strong this round. He's landed some good shots. He's out punching, I think, Bartolome. Even though Bartolome's caught Ramirez with some nice body shots and a few other punches. Uh, it, it's Ramirez that's really, I think, out punching him and being the uh, more aggressive fighter in this particular round. This is maybe a tough fight for the referee Russell Moore as we go through this fight. It's gonna, I think, it may even get a little bit rougher on the inside because it's already shown signs of that happening. A lot of pushing and maneuvering. So let's, let's see how this unfolds. It's just yeah. naturally awkward too. I mean, it's just happening naturally. I think with the style, right? Right there, you can see it's yeah two south balls again. Good straight left. Good Ramirez left comes back. Ramirez two left hands coming in, advancing now. Pushing oh, and another good shot. Two shots landed. Good right hook by Ramirez. Yeah, Bartholomew needs to keep this fight at long distance. He, he does better when he's at long distance. He's trying to catch Ramirez coming in. Which is, which is smart, but he's not he's not throwing en enough punches. Eduardo Ramirez made things happen in that round, no doubt. Punctuated it there in the final 30 seconds. Tomás, Tomás. Estamos bien, estamos bien. Ponle la moja la atrás. We're fine, we're fine. Let's stretch out the legs a little bit. Don't give him rounds. Don't let him get nice and uh, accommodation there in the ring. Don't let him get, you know, just keep going at it. I already told you, when you roll the shoulder, then you start hitting him with the, with the left. Let's go. All right, here we go. Here's a right hook by Ramirez that just grazed Bartholomew. 
But it, and here we go. Here later on, here's that little choppy left hand. Bam! Right on the temple. Now that hurt. And that caught him flush, and then he came back with a with a little right hook off of that left hand. Not as effective as that first left handed drop. Ramirez out punching Bartolome 27 to 13 oh. in that third round, and he comes out firing. This is what I was talking about, the rough stuff. You know, Bartholomew's been pushing down all night. He's been holding uh, the arm spinning. He's doing a lot of really tricky stuff that is borderline legal, illegal, but nevertheless, it's pretty effective as throwing your opponent off. Yeah, well, most refs don't really like that type, type of boxing, so he has to be careful because he can lose a point. Yeah. In fact, if I'm not mistaken, I heard the Bartholomew's corner tell him to See, there he goes again, pushing down on the head. That time he kept, but he, kept, he's, he broke away from it, Joe, it looked like, too. He, he, could, he could have kept that forearm there. Now he's got it there again. Again, a lot of this is happening naturally. It doesn't look like Bartolome is trying to do this. Well, no, it's actually, it's absolutely a tactic. What's happening, though, is a round before, Ramirez got warned for bending down too low. But they, he shouldn't have to keep his head up. There's no rule that says Ramirez has to keep his head up. He should get so, you're, down so you're saying, Bartolome, you should, at a certain point, he, he could stop that if you wanted. Bartolome should, be, should be warned right now okay. for sitting on top of uh, Ramirez's neck. Right, and what he should be doing, he should be moving the head to the side and then moving away instead of staying there and holding his head down. Another left hand landed by Ramirez. He's landed two sharp left hands that are doing damage. He is starting to land with regular precision and a hook over the top. See, Ramirez is coming in like a bull, and Bartholomew should be, be like a matador, you know, step aside and move his head to the side. Yeah, but, but what, what's happening right now, and you're exactly right, is Ramirez's feet are real fast. He's not letting uh, Bartholomew move, move around him very easily. He's on top of him very quick. Ramirez is on so. now. He's Backs doing a lot of damage. Backs yeah. him up, right hook, and then the left hand coming over the top. A lot of success. This is a big round for Eduardo Ramirez. Yeah. Hits him again. He's touching him again. Bartolome says, "Bring it." Well, you don't have to. You don't have to tell this guy to bring it. That looked low. Borderline low by Bartolome. Yeah, that's Russell Moore, rightly with the warning. Exactly. Final minute of this round. Action packed so far. And, and Lennox, you saw Ooh. early on. Good sharp yeah. left hand. He brought the funk early, yeah. but now he is having the success. Regular intensity by Ramirez. Bartolome looks to answer back with his own right hook. And now he's the one advancing. Ramirez backing up for a rare second here in this round. That's showing a lot of heart there, Brian, because I got to tell you, he took a, lot, a horrendous yeah. amount of punches. And now he's coming back, turning the tide on Ramirez. And Ramirez threw a lot of punches. And, you know, he, he slowed down for a second, but now he's coming back. Opens up. His energy is back. Bartolome moving his head, trying to slip and move. All that amateur experience coming to the fore, but he is getting touched. These are scoring oh, shots, and there's God. a big shot. Down oh. he goes. Ramirez just won't stop punching, and now he gets the knockdown. Bartolome on shaky legs. Six. No. They're going to stop it's it. It's over. Oh. Russell Morris oh. says that's it. Bartolome could not get his legs back. Mora gave him a chance, but it's over. Ramirez, revenge, and a win in the second fight. What a performance. That is a huge upset. Well, I'm telling you, a huge upset. And you could just tell Ramirez was determined to get inside and do damage. And man, did he really do it. Yeah, let me tell you, Ramirez was moving forward. It's quicker to move forward than to move backwards. And he was just yeah, allowing yeah, him to uh, move forward and throw those combinations on him and get those shots in. And what it does, it softens you up. It may not seem like a hard shot, but some of them will hurt you. So yeah, there's Ramirez there talking to you, Joe. He's very yeah. excited. This is a yeah. big moment in his life, his career. Yeah. Well, listen, uh, you know, I was told he, he was in great shape and that he's got a great chance by his handlers. They said Ramirez has got a great chance to upset Bartolome. They weren't kidding. Uh, Bartolome, his, his people, you saw his brother, see his whole camp, very upset. He's very upset. He seems to be kind of in shock, but this was happening over the last three rounds. Yeah, you know, it almost seemed like he, he was allowing it to happen, and he wasn't there fully. You know, he was saying, you know, his corner was saying, don't allow this to happen, but he was allowing it to happen. Well, you know, there's only so much you can do. You can be told to stop something, but when the other guy on the opposite end of the ring is determined to get his way, you know, it's hard to beat a guy that's determined to win. What yeah, did, but what follow me was like allowing the, the punches to get through, and, and he was acting like, oh, they're not hurting. 
but in effect, they did hurt him. I think by the way he was reacting, pushing down and trying to every tactic to slow Ramirez down showed that he did not like what he was getting hit with. What did we think of the stoppage? What did we think of Russell Perfect. Moore and how, I, how he handled it? I think it, it was a great back. stoppage, yeah. Let's go back through it again. A lot of success by Ramirez and their mutual respect for the two. Second time they have fought. And you see Ramirez coming in and th throws a good overhand left, catches him right on the chin. Perfect punch. And he caught him while Bartholomew was throwing a right hook. Watch, he catches him right as he's going to throw a hook. Here it comes, see? Boom. And he opened himself up by throwing that hook. And the way he fell, you know, Mora, look at those arm caught underneath him. Mora could have stopped it there. Well, his the arm was wrapped, wrapped yeah. around be, uh, underneath him. But it, the big point was when Russell Mora started the count and Bartholomew turned his back to him and walked away, Ramir that's when he, Ramirez he, he, he threw, was wobbling. No Ramirez question. threw a great right hook before to set up that punch, which was perfect. Right hand, yeah. left hand, straight on the chin, straight down. To your point, Joe, Bartholomew then got up on wobbly legs, and then the way he turned away there, you knew that was it. I think he gave well, him every chance in, in a, a high-level fight. He did. Yeah. He did. So there we go, the winner, Eduardo Ramirez. Tremendous stoppage. Let's go to Jimmy Lennon. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the time of 2 minutes 59 seconds in round number four. Our referee in charge, Russell Mora, stops the contest. The winner by way of technical knockout, Eduardo Surdito Ramirez. Ramirez said he wants to keep with the Mexican warrior mentality. He certainly did that oh, tonight. Oh, he brought that. He brought that. But I got it. I, yeah, I, no, I let me tell you. Let me tell you. Go on. You see, when you're hurt like that, he was trying to get his legs under him. He walked away from the ref because right. he didn't want the referee to see his eyes, and he wanted he wanted to get his legs under him and straight first yep. before uh, going to the ref. Let's go to Jordan Plant at the ring. Thank you, Eduardo. Congratulations. I know you thought you won this first fight, and now you revenged with a great knockout tonight. How good does this moment feel? Felicidades, Eduardo. Tú pensaste que ganaste la primera pelea, pero qué bueno es una venganza en una segunda pelea. Sí, así es. Primero que nada, quiero dar gracias a todo el público de Las Vegas. Muchas gracias por la confianza, mi señor promotor, papá Samson, a la familia Montiel. Y, y como dices, como lo comentas, la pelea anterior estuvo un poco cerrada. Vamos a darles el empate, pero como dije a las entrevistas, no vamos a dejar nada a los jueces y vamos a esperar a salir con la victoria antes de, 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 del tiempo límite y, y así hicieron las cosas gracias a mi trabajo y gracias a mi preferencia y, y gracias a Dios también. Well, uh, first of all, I want to thank the fans for being here in Las Vegas. I want to uh, thank my promoter Samson, the uh, Montiel family. Um, I also said it in the meetings, I was not going to leave these to the judges and that's the way it happened today with the knockout. The first fight, if you want to call it a, a, a tie, that's fine, but like you had said, the uh, revenge factor worked into today. That's what I wanted. I worked very hard for this, and we got it uh, done today. And it seems like in this fight, you came out a lot stronger. You were pressing the action. And even when he was hitting you with shots, you hit your gloves together like, come on, bring it on. His power, did you feel it? Was it hurting you at all? 